You used to have to carry a fistful of coins if you wanted to make phone calls home on your big trip to Europe. Starting in the late 1980s, phone booths all over France began accepting smart cards, that's cards with a computer chip on them, to make phone calls. This is a French phone booth, and this is the French phone card that used to work in them. I say used to work in them because almost all of them have been shut or torn down and removed, and even this one doesn't work anymore. You could buy these telecards, as they are called, at your friendly neighborhood tobacco shop, and they came in two amounts, a petite with 50 units or a grand with 120. They came sealed in a plastic wrapper, so you knew you weren't buying a card that had already been used. They cost the franc or euro equivalent of about $7 to $15, depending on the exchange rate at the time. Now those numbers, the 50 or the 120, they weren't units of money. They were units of calling time. Once you put the card in the phone and placed a call, the amount of units remaining would start subtracting, depending on three conditions of your phone call. The length of the call, the time of day, and whether the call was local or long distance. A long distance call to, say, the United States in the middle of the day for 20 minutes would use up the card rather quickly. A more local call made at an off-peak time for five minutes would only cost a few units. These public phones were all over the place, at the train stations, in the metro subway stations, at all the major attractions. And on just about every street in these standalone booths called Cabine Telephonique. The front shows how many units you start with. There's a contact pad for the phone to read the smart chip, and on the back it has the expiration date of the card. You had to use it up within a certain amount of time, but you usually had at least a year. Many cards were issued as part of a themed series, like music or sports, or the work of a particular artist. This particular one is part of a series about the history of the telephone. Using the card was very simple. Just slide it into the horizontal slot at the bottom of the phone and check the display. The LCD would then light up and say, Décrochet, meaning pick up the receiver and dial your number directly. Phone booths that used these smart cards were used widely all over Europe. Here are ones from Ireland. This one is from Great Britain. find smart card booths in Italy and in Monaco. It's kind of ironic that we are filming this on an iPhone, because that is the exact object that has made all of this obsolete. In France, the phone cards have been out of production since 2014, and the last ones expired in early 2016. The cards live on only as collector items and maybe as a reminder of how quickly technology reshapes the physical world that we live in. Even if you do happen to come across any of these booths, they are all ours to service. The smart cards went into our pockets to drive out the small change we used to have to carry around so much. Now the smart phone has gone into our pockets, and it is the smart cards that have to leave. The smartphone does our math, and it changes the way that we write. From our maps and our music players to our movie cameras and yes, even our money. The smartphone changes the things that we interact with because it takes the place of so many of them. The smartphone has changed not just what we hold in our hands, it now even alters what we put on our streets. The streetscape of France is ever-changing with new tram systems, racks of borrow bikes, and even queues of electric car chargers. But the phone booths are almost all gone. Thanks to the smartphone, there are soon no more smart card phone booths in France.